As your projects get larger, you're probably going to want to organize your assets in the project panels. Let me show you how to do that. Go to Working Files, go to After Effects Projects, and double-click on 0304 Organizing. This is a project with quite a few assets and a few comps, and I want to kind of get these things in order. So the first order of business, though, is to take a look at the project panel and just check out, see how it works. We have a number of column headers here. These help you organize things. In terms of name, that sets things alphabetically. So I click on that, and it goes, obviously, from A and down. Click it again, it goes in reverse order. I can click on this little label tag over here, and that organizes things by these colors here. But, you know, what do these colors represent? They represent file types and other things. And you can see how those guys work by going to the Preferences. So to find Preferences on Windows, go to Edit Preferences. And on the Mac, go to After Effects Preferences. Then click on Labels. That takes you to this part of the Preferences dialog box that shows all these colorful labels. I'm happy with the defaults, but if you want to customize these guys, feel free. You have many possibilities to change things here. You can change the colors by clicking on the swatches or using the eyedroppers to select the color. You can change the color names, label names, and you can change what assets they're associated with over here. So for example, I see that the comp here has a sort of brownish looking thing associated with it. And I check it out over here and I see that compositions are associated with sandstone. That's this color down there, okay. And then this Tiffany Glass JPEG file or an image file has that kind of, I don't know, light purple. I go over here and I see that the still is associated with lavender. So lavender is this color down there. Okay. So that's how this works. I'm happy with the defaults just so you see how it works. So I'll click cancel to get out of that. So if we click on the label, let's see what happens. Puts things in those colors in sort of a color order. I'm not sure that the color order is necessarily an order that would be expected, but it tends to be more or less alphabetical. But I'd rather click on type because that makes more sense to me in terms of the asset type. So I click on that and you see that it's alphabetical right there from composition on down to MPEG files. But folders are put on top. Folders kind of supersede the alphabetization there. They're always on top. There are more columns here. If you slide to the right, you'll see you've got columns for size in terms of the file size or duration. If it's not a still, if it's audio video, it has a duration. And file path, where it is in your hard drive or wherever you've got it stored. There are some other column headers you can turn on if you want to. Right-click anywhere here in the header. Click on Columns. These are the ones you can add if you want. They're pretty self-explanatory. Date is the date of the file on your hard drive. The rest of these guys are pretty much easier to figure out, but I'm happy with the defaults. They work for me here inside After Effects. I'll just click away to deselect that. So now that we've got these guys alphabetized or put into groups, that's one way to organize them, but I'd rather have them inside folders because there's just a whole lot of stuff here. I'd rather put things in folders by type. So the first order of business is to make a new folder. A little icon down there lets you make a new folder. Some software products call these guys bins, but they're called folders here, which makes more sense to me anyway. So click on that. That creates this little guy with the blue and white text, blue background, white text. Whenever you see that, that means that if you start typing, it will immediately replace what's there. So I'm going to put in a new folder for these still images here and call it images, like so. I've got a few images that I want to put inside there. I've got some images that are also serving as backgrounds, so I'm going to differentiate them by putting the images that are just photographs inside that images folder. Let's scroll in down here a bit and see what we've got. I've got the bride and bridesmaid and a couple other ones. I want to select them using the control or command click method. Control and Windows command on Mac, so I just hover my cursor there, hold on the control or command key and click. There's one. And colorful bowls, no. Family walking, two. Flowers and girls jumping. Those are the four that I want to put in there as still images as opposed to backgrounds. So I want to put them inside the images folder by just dragging them there. Now, that won't work because this folder is selected, but I'll just try it anyway, see what happens. And it really it won't let me do it. It's not happy with that. So I need to deselect the folder. To do that, I hold on the control or command key and click on it. And that deselects it while retaining this selection. Now I can select all four of these guys, or drag all four of these guys right to that folder there. When it's highlighted, then it'll go inside there, and you're going, I don't see them, but if you open up the disclosure triangle, there they are. Now I want to put the girls jumping comp inside there. Now it's called girls jumping because I selected those four images and dragged them down to the new comp icon. It automatically named it girls jumping because that was the first image I selected. I want to change the name of the comp to something else. Now, in lots of software products, if you click on it once and then click on it again a little bit later, 
it gives you that blue and white looking text here. It doesn't work that way on After Effects. You need to press the Enter key after you've selected it. So I'll press the Enter key now. There you go. And I'm going to type in Images Comp, like so. And now I'm going to drag this to the Images folder. There we go. Now it's all organized. All the assets and the comp associated with the assets are now in that folder. And that's one way that I like to organize my project panel. You don't have to do it that way. Some people like to put all the comps in one folder, for example. I've got some other assets here as well. I've got three comps and some more files here. And I can put them in folders as well and change their names. But I think you get a sense of how that works. I do want to point out something here. This is the Puppet Photoshop file that I've discussed in another lesson. And when it comes in, it automatically creates a comp. It automatically creates a folder with all the Puppet Photoshop file layers inside that folder. And if you want to put the comp inside with the layers, you can do that. You might want to change the name by clicking on it and pressing the enter key, calling it Puppet Comp. And one thing you can do here is rather than type Puppet all over again, just press the end key to go to the end there and type in comp like that. Now you can drag that to the Puppet Layers folder and put it inside like that. And I could put these guys in a group and put them in a folder and have Tiffany Glass change its name and the same thing with buildings. But I'll leave that to you if you care to do that just as kind of an exercise. There's one more thing I want to show you about organizing assets in the project panel, and that relates to using After Effects to create layers for you. There are certain kinds of layers that After Effects creates, and when it does that, it puts them in a folder just automatically. Let me show you what I mean. If I go down here and right click inside this comp and say New Solid, that lets you create a solid layer, which can be a useful tool when you are working inside comps. So right now it's called Deep Magenta Solid based on the color that was selected here previously. I'll change a different color to, let's say, yellow. And notice how it automatically changes it to Deep Yellow Solid. It names them automatically based upon the color. You can change that if you want, but that's the automatic name. And I click OK. And that adds that solid layer to this comp right there on top, covering everything up for the moment. So what it also does is it creates a new folder right there called Solids. Who knew? But it did that automatically and put that little deep yellow solid layer inside that Solids folder. It organizes it for you. Now, if I clicked on Puppet Layers like that, for example, and created a solid, I'm going to go on here and create another solid. I'll go New Solid, and we'll pick a different color now. We'll make it obviously different. Click OK. You'd think it would put that solid inside the Puppet Layers folder. Scrolling down here, is there going to be a solids folder there? Nope, it doesn't do that. You see that? It puts it inside this default solids folder. Now there are two guys inside there. So that's the automatic thing that After Effects does. It also does this for a couple of the things that are not what you would call solids. I right click on down here and go to New Null Object Layer. Now this is a layer that you can't see. It's transparent. It's just as a way to move things around or have them behave the way you want a whole bunch of things to behave at once. Click on that. Now there's a null object layer added to this comp. It shows up with that little red box there. If I go to the solids folder, there it is, null one. One other thing you can create that also falls inside the solids folder, I'll close it up so we'll see it later. Right click here and go new adjustment layer. And there's the adjustment layer. And if I go to solids, it shows up there as well. So when you create some layers inside After Effects, they're automatically placed inside this thing called the Solids folder. It's good to create them like this and also number them and keep them organized that way. But there they are inside that Solids folder. So that's a basic overview of how you organize assets in the project panel. It's really up to you as to how you want to do it, how you want to put things in the folders. But for me, I like to put related things in the same folder. That way I can track down the comps and other assets later.